let's continue with more federal budget reaction now. Travis Taves is the Alberta Finance Minister. He's joining me from Edmonton. Minister Taves, good to see you. Well, it's good to be here. Now, so much of this federal budget revolves around clean energy and whether Canada can match the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act. From Alberta's perspective, are these new investment tax credits going to be enough to compete with what's happening south of the border? Well, th that's really the question of the day. And at this point in time, we're continuing to do our analysis to fully answer that question. Um, I, I will say uh, at the outset, Andrew, that these additional incentives are welcome for sure. But uh, the, the question is, will they you know, ensure that we are competitive with the U.S. Uh, and their Inflation Reduction Act? And, uh, and, and w there's more work to do. It, it would appear that uh, there there's may still be a gap and uh, and a gap in terms of competitiveness is concerning now of course there are a number of other factors uh, when we consider you know our business environment in total and and you know incentives for uh, clean energy certainly for hydrogen is a very important uh, for Alberta and, and we as a province have you know I, I would suggest really led the way particularly uh, in terms of providing incentives for the hydrogen sector. We have an Alberta Petrochemical Incentive Program, uh, which is effectively a 12% grant on uh, infrastructure investment. That includes carbon capture and storage uh, investment as well. So we've, we've really led the way here in Alberta. And so we're, under, we're working to understand uh, the details in this federal budget. Okay, but, I, but Andrew, if I can add to that, you know, uh, overall, more broadly, uh, we've been concerned with declining business investment uh, over the last seven or eight years. And, and again, there's a number of factors. Uh, we, we really see uh, a burdensome federal regulatory environment as part of our problem. And so, uh, you know, we've been advocating uh, certainly with the federal government. I've been advocating with my provincial counterparts over the last couple of years uh, that we need change and particularly in our uh, federal impact assessment process and, and i have to say i was encouraged to see uh, an acknowledgement that that process is excessively burdensome in this budget but we're really calling on the federal government to move quickly to streamline that process to ensure that it will provide necessary business certainty for investment proponents and uh, and reduce regulatory burden okay i also want to ask you about carbon pricing the government wants to uh, essentially backstop the future price through these so-called contracts for difference. The government says in the budget that this is going to offer business some predictability across Canada. What's your view? Well, the reality is for, uh, for businesses to step out and make these kinds of investments. And, you know, I can identify the, you know, significant carbon capture and storage infrastructure investment here in Alberta. For companies to step out and make those investments, knowing that you know the the price of carbon could change uh, depending on perhaps who's uh, you know who's serving uh, in in government federally, um, a, a difference for contracts um, or contract for differences arrangement is really essential. Uh, I, again, there needs to be business certainty and predictability to see businesses companies move forward with that kind of investment. Okay, we have a couple moments left. Before we go, I do have to ask you two other questions. First, on allegations today involving Premier Daniel Smith that she regularly discussed COVID-related charges with provincial justice officials. Now, the Premier has issued a statement criticizing these allegations as defamatory. I do want to ask you, though, what more uh, will the Premier do or say to address this? I mean, the Premier's been clear. She's uh, simply contacted the Minister of Justice uh, with questions that she's had uh, around these issues. And, uh, and, and, and again, I, the, the Premier's statement stands. Okay, and finally, one more question. It's about you yourself. You just announced that you won't be seeking a re-election uh, in the next Alberta election, which is coming up uh, in two months. Uh, why did you wait until this point to bow out and what went into that decision? Well, there, there were a number of considerations, uh, as you might expect in this decision, certainly some personal business family considerations, um, and, and they, you know, they, they all weighed into our final decision. It was a tough decision. It's been such a privilege to serve 
Albertans as their Minister of Finance. It's been such a privilege to serve my constituents as their, their MLA. But ultimately, it, it came down to business, uh, personal and family considerations. Okay, we'll leave it there. Alberta Finance Minister Travis Taves is with us in Edmonton tonight. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Andrew.